Hi and welcome to the Marcy Users. Marcy is a web geographic information system which allows the managing and the processes of orbital data from the four last Mars and spacecraft. Mars Global Surveyor, Mars Odyssey, Mars Express and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. From this application, the users will be able to easily and rapidly select observations, to process raw data via proposed automatic pipelines and to get final product which can be visualized under the Geographic Information System. Marcy also proposed automatic stereo restitution pipelines in order to produce digital terrain model. This application is part of the ERC project called eMars. This video will be going over how to get access to Marcy, the available products, the basic things you have to know about Marcy, and how to select, process, and download a product. The application is open to the scientific community via the following website emarsunev lyon onefr To create an account, please contact Louis Lozac using this email address, and a password and a login will be emailed you. So here put your username, your password, click on Logging and welcome to Marcy. On Marcy there are three tabs corresponding to different environments. Maps for the data visualization and selection, Workspace for the data processes and About to have more information about the application, the products, and the available processes pipelines. So let's go to the Maps tab. The Maps tab is composed of four windows, Layers, Map, Map Tools, and Card. On the left side, you can find the Layers window, where you can manage the available layers in the Map window. The first layer corresponds to the Mola Altimeter Global Map and the second one to the Themis Visible Global Map. Click on the I button to make the layer visible in the Map window. The next layers correspond to the image footprints for each available instrument for different missions. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, Mars Express and Mars Odyssey. To have more information about the available data and processes pipelines, please go to the About tab. Now I decide to make visible the footprints of the CRISM targeted observations. So up to the map window you can find the map tools where you can manage the maps. For example, you can zoom in using a rectangular feature. Here you can find the available CRISM targeted observations. You can also zoom in, zoom out, go back, go forward. If you want to have more information about an observation, click on Show Features button on an observation. And here you can find the available information about this image. If you want to select this observation for processes, click on Select on the right button, select the observation and add in the card window. Now, for example, I like to process a specific prism targeted observation to have information about the mass and surface mineralogy. So click on Search, Free Search, Choose the type of the observation, so here the CRISM targeted observation. Choose an attribute, so here I know the ID, so I choose product ID. Choose an operator. And here put the ID. Click on search. Here you can find the available observation, so choose one of them focus selection and here you can find the footprint of the selected observation. If you want to process this observation, click on Add in the card window 
and here you can find the related data cubes. So you can find two types of cubes for the visible and the infrared. So the first one is the DE containing the ancillary information and the second one the IF containing the reflectance measurements. For the mineralogy, the DE and the IF cubes in the infrared are needed. When you are ready to process the data, click on the Space tab. Here you can find the available observation. On the right you can find different windows, data to process, data in progress, data proceed, enabling to check the evolution of the processing. In the data to process window you can find the data which can be proceed. Click on the process button. The processes will be appeared in the data in progress window. When the processes is done, it will be visible in the data proceed window. Do not hesitate to click on the refresh button to refresh the windows. When the data process is done, as you can see here, click on the process data on the copy button in order to save your products in your personal repository in the FTP. To download a product, go to the FTP, put your username, your password, Find the right file corresponding to the selected data type, for example, MRO, CRISM. You can find the available processed data. Download the dairy products in your computer. And voila, you can visualize your final product in a GIS. To exit your session properly, click on the logout button under your name. You can find all the information in the description box below. Thank you and enjoy on Marcy.